I reach the end of the trail. The air is still, and I am a hunter. The hunt has led me to the forgotten edges of this world. Seasons pass, drawing me deeper into the darkness, where I have found the truth. That my redemption is found in ashes. That I must burn away the past to set things right. destroy those who I once called brother. The air is still, and I am a hunter. Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me, nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Firewood, at least. <laughs> Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. too fast for you. I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. This is more like it.
Hurry. Best not keep Chevalier waiting. I'm so sick, Rita. The space, the... Where the hell were you two? We're out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Véranderie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! Oh. You irresponsible wretch! I will teach you some manners, boy. How dare you show me such disrespect! Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close! The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee! We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner! Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded! Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. You ready to teach them a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are you, Not mates, bad. now, you filthy rat? Thank you. Keep an eye out, lads! Their pals are still out there somewhere! Here he goes again. Thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Shake. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain. But next to me, you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, 
We could use another vessel. Even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons. She'll look as fine as anything on... Seven seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, God. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who won Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect, Morgan. A ship! This is a ship! They will sink her! Let's put the Morgan to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, men! already after all. We will return to what is left of the gift for. It's a long way home. We have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads. Chevalier is pleased with us. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. What the hell did you do? It's... some kind of dormant virus? Emergency Shit! Hang on, I'm getting you out of there! Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Anonymous, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell. Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever. Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. Stay positive. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss Lemay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Miss Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie, the elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? 
I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed, and that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader, a man who used his best assassin, Al Ta'ir ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar. It is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al-Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale, how go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He was a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me 
what happened. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port-au-Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this, but did Mackendall's man complete his task before the earthquake hit? I cannot know. Bon the yes. woman looked worried earlier. I heard that Liam's waiting for you. Seen him yet? I hear Mistress Hope was looking for you. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Shoot these targets. Take your time. You Not know? too much. More work after this. Anyone can hear targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on. Hurry up. <sighs> Come on, hurry up! Well done, Shay. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, but they'll never show it. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. Don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What are we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being noticed? know how to handle yourself. Top form, Shay. Stay low and stick to the brush. Be patient and you might hit your target. Attack from around a corner, and your target will never know what hit him. You certainly know how to handle yourself. Hmm? You did better than I expected. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you.
It's time for the hunt. Use all your senses together to find prey. Killing should not be meaningless. We must use what nature gives us. Good. Now to use what you have taken from nature. With these, you can keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Say, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast. But I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifact can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. We only have one lead, Shay. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. So Achilles tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mac and Dalshe. We have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? <laughs> Watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us. Do much more than earn his trust. Liam, do you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts, studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course. Liam, you could be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. Then Achilles is heir. 
Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. Ready, boys? It's a task of life for all and strife. We will burn on the cold. We don't kill the task. The gale has stopped. How hard the wind did blow. Fall in the stunts! Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmers return. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our allies has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. Far now, Captain. This road won't hold. Keep the weather eye open. There, Captain. An English vessel. And she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. And let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Pretty exciting. I say this is a good day to light up the Be careful. Don't want to sink her. Now's the time. Let's board her. Don't be in the crowd. We can board and loot her before the crew knows what hit them. Show them what's for, Captain. Come on, man. Spires are ours. For the more again. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master station nearby. We'll spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. 
A shame, though. He escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But... I hate he's a French colony, though. No, it is. And here, the assassins are helping King Louis. But in Haiti, the French own the slaves who are set free by the assassins. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. You better borrow some coin. Barter with an empty bird won't get you very far. What do you be needing today, then? A bit of business, that. <laughs> captain has the wound. We should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats. You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. The scouts must pay! And would you look at that? Standing right in our way to Anticosti. What say you? Sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Strange things have happened. Caesar. Salt air, open skies. A man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. Well, what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? A temperate stick to this continent like tar. I don't feel liberated until you fry them all. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boot on your neck? There it is. Anticosti. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Get close, Shay. As much sail as you can! Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Go on ahead, Shay. We will meet you at the fort. Take a look at this. 
I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his Major Domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Any luck? That Here ship will lead us right to him. I made my own luck, Liam. Who's the Royals? And Washington is running out of his. Some sort of cargo there, sir. Wind's getting vicious. He had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Who's tops those gallants and royals? That cliff will grind us, sir! That's the road. Blockade, Captain! Oh, this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Aye, Captain. This track sail. that package and find Put Washington. That's all take. That's the gallants and roads! Sub blockade. Washington must die.
Aye. What's this? A rifle. You there! Stay! Where you are. How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Buster Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. It's in trouble tonight. I don't know. The Georgie is all too tough. The captain's all in more men. What's so special about his party? I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Yeah. Oh. 
Brother, are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We'll soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you. For revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. God damn it! Better hurry. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Is that a shit mortar? That's not sported! Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. In the sickly way that man looked, he would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. 
They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. We'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shay. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. 